Hey guys, it's Shantrinas. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a braid out tutorial. So let me show you what I'm using lately and how to achieve this really cute braid out. Okay, so TPH was kind enough to send me some items to try out and I wanted to do a braid out today. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm actually trying to copy this hairstyle that she has, but her hair is in a stretched out state and I did not feel like blow drying. But if you do these same steps, you can probably achieve the same look. First, I'm gonna start off with the Ride or Die Leave-In Conditioner and then I'm going in with the Smooth Attitude and on top of that, the Keep Shining Dry Oil Mist. And then after that, I'm going in with the Tough Cookie. That might sound like a lot, but it really isn't as long as you're using really light amounts of each one. So what I'm doing is spraying some on my hair and on my hands. I wasn't sure which technique I wanted to go for, but the stuff smells really good. Everything in their line has smelled really good so far. So that's a huge plus for me. But if you don't really like fragrance of like hair care products, you might like not like this. By the way, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but my hair is low porosity. So the method that I'm using right now is the liquid cream oil method. If your hair is high porosity, you would change things up a little bit and do liquid oil cream. Okay, so make sure you're using the right LOC method. Um, and that's why you see me layering on the products like this. I'm in cosmetology school right now. And that was one of the first things I learned where I was like, wow, I can't believe I got this wrong so many years. Like I, I really need to make a video about all the stuff I thought I knew about hair and then like compare it to all the stuff that's actually true. It's also really interesting to find out why certain things worked because like I would do these methods that I saw on the internet, not really knowing like the, the science behind it. And now I know and I'm like, wow, that's the reason why vitamin C uh, fades your hair color. This is the reason why um, certain shampoos make your hair feel weird. You know, it's it's been really fun. I'll talk about that more in a different video, but yeah, it's been pretty good. So the next thing I'm doing here is sectioning my hair in the back. I just wanted to make sure you saw that there were three sections there. So one in the middle and then those two side pieces. This is the gel that I'm using. It's the Tough Cookie. This is the first time that I've used it. I feel like it would work really well as a wash and go gel, but I've never done a wash and go. I'm kind of afraid to, but I think I need to get a really good haircut before I'm able to do wash and goes right now. I think I might end up doing it myself just to make sure it's like the way I want it to be. I also wanted to make sure to slow down this part. So I'm taking three little sections there. So I braid it almost all of the way down. And then at the end, I do a twist. I've always been doing my braid outs this way. So it goes from a braid into a twist on the ends. And then after that, it goes into a finger coil and it looks really pretty that way. I also tend to add a little bit more gel just to make sure it really pops and dries that way. So yeah, it looks really cute. I feel like if you've done your hair yourself for long enough, you can tell when your hair is going to come out nice. And I could tell from the products and how they were sitting that this was going to look really good. Here's a close-up texture shot of using all the products together and also having it like brush through and everything. I think my curl pattern looks really pretty. That's why I said it would look good for a wash and go. I just haven't tried it yet, but when I get my hair cut, I definitely will be doing a wash and go. I just really need like a really cute shape. I feel like my hair doesn't have a shape right now and I'm in desperate need of a curly cut. Like I really want it to look kind of interesting. I don't know. I just feel like it just looks kind of squarish right i don't know okay here's another texture shot i just couldn't stop looking at how pretty my curl pattern looked i i've never seen my hair look like that before i ended up wearing these braids in my hair for two days and took them out on this day that i'm going to show you okay this is two days later my hair was fully dry i used the dry oil again i'm not going to show the takedown because that would make this video 10 hours long um but here's the finished result i really like this stuff I also made sure to show an update like later in the day because sometimes I'll do my hair and I think it looks fine in the morning and then the Florida humidity gets me. Today it was 80% and I was out for like eight hours. Not like outside the whole time, but I was out there, you know. I think it held up pretty good. I like how my hair is looking. There's not that much frizz, which is what I was worried about. And my hair still feels really soft. So that's a huge plus.